My exams are in less than a month. We need to study. We need to get cracking. So I'm going to the library today, I'm going to show you how I study, I'm going to show you what I do, I'm going to be going through essentially as much of this week's content as I can go through. So this week we were doing neurology, rheumatology and head, neck and spine anatomy. So I'm going to be revising everything I learned about neuropathology, brain tumours, all of the likes of that. I'm going to be going through the diseases that we learned about in rheumatology and then I'm going to be brushing up on my anatomy. So I'm going to take you guys with me through a study day if you needed motivation to study today this is your sign after you watch this video i better see you in your desk or in your library getting some work done and yeah if you actually do that tag me on your story or something so i can see before we go let me show you guys my fit you guys should already know i believe in the theory of looking good while you're studying because if you don't romanticize your life and if you don't romanticize studying how are you gonna do it how are you gonna do a hard task? You have to make life easier by romanticizing the little things. So that's what I do. This is the full outfit. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Let me know if you like it. Okay, enough messing around. Okay. Also guys, it's actually a Saturday, so I don't have any classes today, just in case you're wondering. It's currently 9.30. I'm hoping to get to the library by 10.15 or something, hopefully. I'm gonna eat a quick snack. Quick, quick, quick snack. And yeah. <laughs> okay, this is enough stalling. Let's go. So the first part of my study method involves revising all of the content that I've done either that day or that week. This is more like a quick skim rather than trying to memorize the information. It's just to make sure I understand it all. And I started doing this after speaking to one of my anatomy professors and asking him for study advice when I was in first year. And he told me that actually there's proof that people who revise content the same day that they are taught it have way higher retention than people who revise it days or even weeks after. And honestly, ever since starting this, it has been so transformative for me and it really helps when exams are getting closer. So what I do is I usually look over the lecture slides and I also look over any textbook that they've recommended. So I'm using Robin's Pathology right now. And this tends to help me really get an in-depth understanding of what I've been taught. I would recommend you guys trying this. I always use my iPad and my MacBook together to do this, just so I can look up anything that I don't understand on Google too. Okay, so for my second step in studying a topic or concept, it's all about deepening my understanding and I primarily use external resources for this. I have to give a disclaimer that I don't do this all the time. I only do this when I think I need it because medicine is just so intense that there is not time to look at external resources for every single topic, at least for me anyways. So I only really do this when I'm struggling with something 
thing. My favorite external resources to use are things like Osmosis, Complete Anatomy, Med School Bootcamp. There's also a ton of YouTubers I love watching such as Ninja Nerd, Armando Hassan Dungan, Speed Pharmacology. There's loads and if you guys want me to leave my recommendations just comment and I'd be happy to let you know. So I use a bunch of different tools because I'm just the type of person who likes to understand things in detail because I feel like if I can understand it really really deeply I am way less likely to forget it even if I forget it by memorization because I just feel like when you understand something it's like embedded into your brain at least that's what it feels like for me and it just helps me to in the moment when I'm like in an exam and I'm on the spot and I can't exactly remember because I'm the type of person that has a bit of a photographic memory so at times when my memory's buffering and it's just not loading I can't rely on it and I have to then lean on my understanding of a given topic in order to move forward so <laughs> sorry I'm laughing because there's a bible verse that says lean not on your own understanding it's Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 but that's not what I mean I mean I don't lean on my <laughs> I mean I lead on my good understanding. You get me? Anyways, that's <laughs> just a tangent. But yeah, this is what I do to strengthen my knowledge on something. And of course, I use tools like Google, ChatGPT if I have certain questions. And I just do anything possible to help me understand something. And it's been working for me for a couple of years now, so I have no reason to stop. After a very refreshing break, it's time to get back to work and this is when I go into the third part of my study method which is the consolidation and memorization phase. So after I've understood everything, read external resources, tested myself a little bit even on those resources, I then go to Anki and that's when I smash out as many flashcards as I can. I do find Anki really helpful. It's so funny because I used to be an Anki hater last year, but I realized that just by changing the font size a bit and the font itself a little bit, I actually like it. I think it's really helpful. I used to use flashcards all the time when I was doing my leaving cert, which is the exam we take in Ireland before going into university and flashcards helped me massively. I wasn't using Anki, I was using a different app, but Anki is so great for medicine. I just use pre-made decks, so I don't make the decks myself for the most part. I just use decks that older years have made, and this really, really helps me because, guys, there's so much power in space repetition learning, and if you haven't gotten into it, I totally recommend you start considering that aspect of learning, and yeah. Hey guys, 
So I am, I'm just finishing from the library. It's currently just before 9 p.m. Yeah, it's been a pretty long day. I wasn't as productive as I wanted to be, to tell the truth. But I did get a lot done, which I'm really happy about. What's so funny is on a Saturday or on a weekend or a Friday evening, whenever I'm in the library, without fail, I'll like glance around at the people who are there and it's all meds. Like I won't know them, they'll be two years below me or a year above and it's just medical students. It just makes me think like what the hell is this degree that we have to spend our weekends where other people are resting. We are spending those weekends in the flipping library. Hope you guys have enjoyed seeing how I study and spending time sitting with me. Hopefully this will motivate you for your upcoming exams. I'm actually okay with how much I got done today. It wasn't the best and I could have done more for sure, but do you know what? I tried my best, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys next time.